What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shane Rowe. Guys, come on in. We got a few things to talk about, so just let's get right into it. Now, first things first, we just beat Arsenal in the third game of the preseason, 2-0. So we did it convincingly, and that's the most important thing. The boys look, looked really, really good. They looked well drilled. They look like their form is coming. They look like they're getting a bit more. Uh, their fitness is, is, is getting there. Bruno, he looked really good. Arm Armband really fit him in my opinion. I don't know who you guys wanted for the captain, but I'm, I'm really happy that Bruno is the new captain. He has that fight in him, which you need as a captain. Sancho, he looks sharp. He played like a bit of a, a number, uh, like a, a number nine, but kind of like a false nine. So he scored a goal, which was an absolute worldly one. So good on him. Good to see him getting his form back. Varane looked like the Rolls Royce that he is. Martinez, listen, I between all the players that we've bought, I think definitely Martinez is one of the better buys that we've bought in a long, long time, especially at the position, center back, because we've been missing a center back for a long, long time. This man made Declan Rice miss the $100 million play look like Declan Fried Rice. So he was amazing. But for me, and guys, tell me how you, 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 you thought he did, but for me, the player of the game and, and the, the one who stole the show has to be Kobe Mayno. We need to make sure we, we give this kid some minutes. He has to get a spot in the first team. There wasn't a position this, 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 this kid, I'm sorry, young man, wasn't playing. He was a center back at one point, a right back, and even the assist he provided for Bruno came from the right wing. He was everywhere and he played with this uh, composure of a mature central midfielder marshalling the team. And he's playing against and with some really, really, really good players around him. So for me, like, like Matt Busby used to say, if they're good enough, they're old enough. So he definitely needs to get a spot on the team. And if you think about it, Fred is gonna leave. I'm sure Fred is leaving. I love Donnie, but he's, he needs to get his form back. So he definitely at least needs to go on loan, get his form back, and then come back. Maybe next season we see what happens. But Mason Mount already looking like he's gelled inside the team. Between him and Ericsson fighting for that first spot, and for a, a player of his age and his supposed class, he's gonna wanna get some games, at least to get that form back, to have some kind of chance of, of making himself back into, getting himself back into the team. So there is going to be room, and we definitely need to make sure that one of those slots go to Kobe Mayno. There's gonna be at least 60 something games this season just by the amount of games we're gonna play for the amount of competitions we're gonna be in. So there's definitely 20 games there where he can make himself known and, and, and really ingrain himself into the team. And Casemiro, if it's gonna be anything like last season, he's gonna get a few yellows, so he's gonna have more opportunities than, than he won't. And I also think that we should keep McTominay. Listen, I told you, I like McTominay. I think he's a decent player. He does the job every time he's inside that midfield. He's good for a goal. But he, he's, he's a fighter. And he's still, he's still relatively young. What's McTominay? 23 or 24? So I think we should keep McTominay into this system, learn from Casemiro, fight Mayno for that second little spot and then we see what happens next year if next year he's not improved where i guess ten hog would like him to be then by all means but if we do keep him which is probably my main point here i don't see a need for us to go buy another central midfielder in my opinion and you guys tell me how you feel about this because i really want to know do you think we need to go get another central midfielder 
as good as the ones that they are linking us with. I know we need to compete for the title, and I know we gotta compete for different trophies, but hear me out. Instead of a midfielder that we don't necessarily need, why is nobody addressing the, the elephant in the room? And that is, Varane is not going to play 60 games. There, I said it. He's not. He's not gonna play 60 games, right? And, and Martinez, he's going to get a few extra yellow cards just by the way he plays, right? So who are we going to have as backup? Who's supposed to come in as backup? Harry, that's if he's even there, right? West Ham just got $100 million for Declan Fried Rice over there. So they're going to come and try to get Harry. We should sell Harry. We should sell Harry and get another center back in. Lindelof is perfectly fine where he's at. He's, he's, he's good, but... If both or, or either of them get a suspension or get some kind of injury, there's only Lindelof to come in as a good, competent, trustworthy centre-back. That's all I'm saying. So for me, you, you, okay, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, then who? Who do we get? I'm going to tell you. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to tell you. His name is David Carmo. He plays for Sporting. He's a 22-year-old, 6'3", centre-back. Ranks highly, highly among all the centre-backs in Europe. He has European experience, right? So he's played Champions League and he's played Euro Europa League. The most important part is that he only costs around 30 million. I believe he has a 30 million release clause. He's 22 years old, six foot three, right? And he's a ball-playing centre-back. So he would fit right into, right into Ten Hag's system. Look, you tell me how you feel about it. My opinion is we don't necessarily need to go buy another central midfielder. We have Maino that's, that's, that's playing very, very well. There's McTominay that I don't think we should just give up on McTominay right away. And there's also Hannibal and Aaron coming up through the ranks. They might not break in through the team this year, but they definitely are there. We've also seen that Mason Mount can do the more defensive kind of midfield role too. So for me personally, I do believe that we need a center back more than we need uh, another midfielder. But you guys let me know what you think. I think the next game we play now is against Wrexham. And it'd be interesting to see who he plays and how long he plays in for in this game, looking a bit forward to Real Madrid. No disrespect to Wrexham or anything like that, but, but just looking a bit forward to Real Madrid, you'd, be, you'd wonder if he's gonna give give youngsters more time or is he gonna give the senior players a bit more running their legs to, to get those fitness up. The season's just around the corner. The season's just around the corner, you know? So good things are being done. Still, we're, we're, we're getting the players that we need to get, so you can't even get too upset about what's going on. The, the lads are playing very well. Three wins out of three, you know, we keep on marching. That's the good thing. And how we're playing. How we're playing is the most is the most telling of the preseason. The wins are the the, the cherry on top, but it's how we're playing and how dedicated they look when they're playing. So all in all, tens all around the board. I'm I'm stoked so far. If, so guys, listen, if you've been watching, thank you as always for rocking with your boy. Leave a like, a comment. <laughs>